Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Apex 291 TBSS by Coachman RV. This is a one slide out ultralight style travel trailer with a bunkhouse in the back and the master bedroom up front. We're going to take a few minutes here, run you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Apex 291 TBSS travel trailer here. As you see it on the floor plan that was up, this is a rear bunkhouse front bedroom style. We're going to actually come back here to the back, start back here, and then we'll work our way forward. So again, rear bunkhouse setup here. So you're going to have two bunks here on the awning or door side of the RV. You have windows at each bunk. There's electric outlet down below, along with a USB charger port on each of those bunks. Ladder there as well. Then over here on the back side, you're going to have a sofa by day that will flip down and make into a bed as well. It has a little cup holder thing there in the middle. There's storage and a couple drawers also down below there. And then you have your top bunk area here. Now this will actually raise up and you can lock it in over there as well. But that'll give the kids extra headroom if they're stuck in here on a rainy day or whatever. There are TV hookups right here. And you also have some storage space here as well. They have a sliding door to kind of give themselves privacy back here. All vinyl floor back here in this area. Now just outside their bedroom area here is going to be a little linen closet area. There's an electric outlet down there as well, but you have quite a bit of space here to store your towels and linens for your bathroom area. And you also have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. So you have three of those right here as well. This is gonna be your bathroom area here. So you got a big medicine cabinet there. There's a little vent fan up top. Little hanging uh, hooks there to put some stuff on. Electric outlet, light switch on the wall there. There's a little bit of shelf space and storage space in here as well. You also have your foot flush toilet there. And then you have a little tub shower combo set up here. Um, that's probably, I'd say, close to a foot deep. So if you had a small baby or something, you probably could give them a little bath in there. Uh, but basically an ABS tub surround, a little shower area. There's a skylight up above also. Now for your slide out on this unit, it's a big, what they refer to as super slide. So it has a large U-shaped dinette there, so you can sit there with the family. There is storage underneath of there. That will also go down and make into a bed as well. You've got big windows there on the back side, and those windows also open. The ones on the side of the slide open as well. And I forgot to mention, the ones in the kids' room also open. Then over here, you're going to have your trifold sofa. So this will flip out and make into a bed as well. So if you had extra guests, they could sleep on this sofa or on that U-shaped dinette. So you could sleep quite a few people in this RV. Now you'll notice on the slide floor area there, it's matching Leno. And over here, you're going to have your kitchen area. So you have the Furion refrigerator. 
Just below that is the electric box with the breakers and fuses. There's a propane leak detector right down there. On the wall there is a digital thermostat for your ducted uh, AC system by GE. And it also has the furnace controls as it does have a propane furnace on it as well. Currently using the Magic Chef oven, which has the glass front, the light up knobs, also has a light in the oven as well. Three burner gas stovetop and the little flip up and down glass lid. You have the Magic Chef hood range light and fan here, high point microwave. They're currently using a Jensen TV here. It is on a swing arm, so you can kind of maneuver it around a little bit. High rise faucet, under mount sink, and then you have some storage underneath here as well, along with a couple drawers. Over here, you're going to have a little portable Bluetooth speaker. They have some controls here for your slide, your awning. You got some light switches here, gas electric water heater buttons, water pump if you need to use portable water, and then your holding tank monitors and your battery reader all right there. Now on the back side of the counter area here, there is also another access area to get underneath of there. There's quite a bit of storage under there. And then you have a little bit down below there where you can maybe push your shoes and stuff under there also. But a very cool family camper here that is lightweight, easy to tow around. A lot of half ton trucks and stuff could tow this and even a lot of your bigger SUVs. Uh, right here you have prepping for the Gateway Connect, that's a feature you can buy, hook up, and subscribe to like AT&T or something, Verizon or one of those guys, and take internet with you. Now up here is going to be your master bedroom area. So you have sliding doors for privacy in this area. Uh, camper queen bed. Now this bed raises up. This is kind of cool. It's got shock assist on it, but it goes way up. So you have a drawer and actually a little seating area over here. And then you also have a couple more drawers and some storage space down there. There's a motion light there as well. A little bit of extra storage under there. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. The window over here opens, has pulled down nightshade on it as well. The windshield in the front of the RV does not open. And then you have another window over here that also opens. You have uh, TV hookups. There's a backer in the wall. There's a little sticker right there telling you where that backer's at. So you could put you a uh, little TV up here or something if you wanted to. Now just remember, do not use too long of a screw. You'll go through the wall and that would not be good. Um, so just kind of make sure you know what you're doing there. You have a vent up here as well. Pretty good size hanging closet. Magnetic catches on there also. And that is actually pretty deep space right there. Very nice unit. I would definitely recommend checking out the construction stuff on the Apex Camper. You got aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewalls with Asdale on the outside and the inside of the wall. So it's not going to have to worry about water damage, delaminating it and stuff. Very, very nice setup here. All right, we're going to step outside. I want to show you around the outside of this beautiful RV here. And then we're going to come back in close it up and just show you what it looks like with the slide closed too. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Apex 291 TBSS travel trailer here. We're gonna start here on the door side and we'll kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, as you can see, we have a large power awning here with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head in case of electronic failure. 
On the side walls, this one was ordered with the frameless look windows on the side. You have a large folding entry handle there at your entry door, along with the solid entry step there. That's rated for 400 pounds. Flips up inside the doorway when you're traveling, and it has adjustable feet for your terrain. You're gonna have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material instead of the cheap wood Luan backer, and some vinyl graphics, lower black metal skirting. By the way, it is pretty windy today, so hopefully I'm able to block some of this wind. Um, if not, I apologize in advance, but it is a very windy day here. Um, in the front here, you're going to have a kind of pass-through storage area right here. There is a light switch for the front cap lights. You have a motion light in here as well. Charge controller right up here for your 200 watt solar panel that this one was ordered with. You can also see some of that aluminum tube welded framing and stuff there as well that the RV is made out of. It has heavy duty scissor jacks on all four corners. Just above the window there is your stove exhaust vent. That round kind of reddish orange sticker there on the window there is talking about the 200 watt solar panel. Again, this one was ordered with. You have aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. You have outside TV hookup and electric outlet right there above your wheels. So you could plug something in out here if you wanted to. Now this is pretty cool back here. We got a little camp kitchen area. So you have a little griddle right here. Slides back underneath of the counter area when you're not using it. A little pull out drawer, a little mini fridge. There's an electric outlet and light back there as well. Just down below underneath of there is a gas line hookup where you would actually plug that grill into. Onto the back side here, we have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end. You have in the top center up there prepping for the Furion rear observation camera. That is a really nice camera system that will allow you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. You also have prepping in the right corner up there for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. That is a telescoping ladder that would allow you to get up and down on and off your roof to do your inspections and maintenance and stuff. Collapse it back down, throw it in a compartment, kind of out of sight, out of mind. You don't have to worry about the kids climbing up and down, falling off and getting hurt. Back here, you're going to have your six gallon gas and electric water heater, and then a hot and cold outside utility shower. Traditional four inch square tube bumper right here. Some people like to put bike racks on the back of here, uh, maybe a small luggage rack, but these bumpers typically are rated for around 300 pounds, so don't put anything real heavy on there because you could damage something. In the back corner here, you're going to have a city water inlet. So when you go to your campground, you're gonna hook up your water right there, turn it on, and then you'll have a pressurized system. You have detachable power cord right here. This one was ordered with 50 amp electric service. Just below that is a black tank flush to clean out your toilet system. And to the left there is the cable satellite inlet. Now just down below here is your gray and black tank dump right there. This is a 12 volt power slide system rack and pinion slide. You'll see us close that up here shortly. And it is prepped in the top corners of the slide right there for a Solaire slide topper. It's a really nice thing to consider adding to an RV. It rolls in and out with the slide, helping shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, that type of stuff. And just overall comes in handy. Now down underneath it here, there's a little sticker telling you there is a drain outlet right down there, the larger inch and a half gate valve for your fresh water tank. You have your gravity fill fresh water tank right here and in the other side of your storage area as well. Now right here, you're gonna have some real important informational uh, sticker stuff here. So this tells me right here, my dry weight, 6,000 
and 77 pounds dry. Exterior length, 33 feet 6 inches. We have a gross vehicle weight of 7,600 pounds. You have your model number, production date. For example, this one was built 5-7 of 24. Your VIN number and stuff also on here. Uh, right here, you're going to have a tire sticker telling us ST20575R14 D range tires with a 65 PSI cold. Now, it is very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure, guys, on any RV when you're traveling around just to make sure that it can maintain the weight and stuff properly. Um, one other real quick thing be sure to get up on your roof from time to time again and check your maintenance and stuff that's very very important also on any rv as well now onto the front side here you can see nice three-quarter fiberglass front shell has that windshield in the front there a couple led lights lower metal skirting this has two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover here you're going to have power tongue jack it's got heavy duty safety chains two and five sixteenths hitch ball you also have uh, breakaway cable, seven-way bargain wiring plug, spare tire mounted down here underneath the front part, and then right back over there is going to be a battery disconnect. Um, there's also room for one or two batteries to probably go on the front here, depending on the size of your batteries. It comes with zero batteries from the RV maker, but if you do purchase from Couches RV Nation, it does come with at least one. All right, now we're going to step back inside here real quick and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back up inside the brand new 2024 Apex 291 TBSS here. I just want to show you what this thing looks like closed. Won't take real long here. When you are ready to close it up, you're going to come right back in here and run this thing in and out. So we are going to push the button to bring it in. It kind of tilts upward a little bit. This is a 12 volt powered rack and pinion slide system. Just takes a few seconds to run this thing in and out. Now it is very, very important before you bring your slide in to make sure your floor is clean. You do not want to have a little rock Hear that ratchety noise, by the way, that means let off the button, it's all the way in. Uh, but you do not want to have like a little rock or pebble, something, kids' toy, pet foods, whatever, that could possibly get trapped between the slide floor and your main linoleum down there and cause damage. So I could kind of squeeze through here if I really needed to and get to my fridge um, let's go ahead and do this here, kind of get an idea here what we got going on. Um, so I could come back here. I could probably squeeze through there. Little kids definitely could squeeze through there. Small person could squeeze through here if they really needed to get in there, but it'd be much easier just to bump the room out a little bit, a few inches or something to make it easier. But I was able to squeeze by here. I could come in, wash my hands, use my stove if I needed to. I could even load some groceries in the fridge. But again, I would recommend really bumping out the slide um, just to make it a lot easier as it only takes a few seconds to do. So spin it back around here, hit the button, and it goes right on back out. But if I'm just stopping at a rest area and want to come in here and you know, grab something out of the fridge. It's real quick and easy. I didn't run it all the way out, but it's just a lot easier to bump that out and go through there and not risk tearing something up. And then just bring it back in and mosey on down the road. But hit the button, take it all the way out. Now, if you don't mind, guys, please remember to smash that like button if you're interested in keeping up with more of my RV videos. And... As always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They're one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They were the number one selling travel trailer and fifth wheel dealer for 2023. Thanks again.